Okay, came in a little bit hot there. Were we out or safe? Safe. Safe that time? Mm -hmm. Boom! Okay. What we're talking about now, it's getting down to crunch time. Mm -hmm. The next fishing season is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. FIW Tour starts January 23rd. Bass Elites starts February 6th. Yep. It's mid-November now. We got to start getting stuff in line. Yep. We've been asking y'all. Y'all have said. There's been an overwhelming majority of y'all have leaned towards one side of where I should fish next year. If you've not watched my videos before, I appreciate y'all stopping by for this one. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because next year we're going to be putting out some good stuff. And anyways, I qualified for the Bassmaster Elite Series and the FOW Pro Circuit next year. A lot of y'all already know that. And I have made my decision 100% clear. It's been pretty clear for a while now. I was just waiting for a few things to be just 100%. And then now I'm telling everybody. So Mostly the rules. The rules had to come out. I didn't get for the both. rules. I didn't get the rules for both circuits until less than a week ago and made sure everything was perfect. I wouldn't be in any trouble for anything. And then now we're making a decision. So mm -hmm. without further ado, Hunter, what are we going to fish next year? We need a drum roll. No, it's too obvious. One drum roll. Okay. The Elites! Elite Series. It's pretty simple. Everybody on my comment section, at least, what percentage? I say 73. It could be more. Definitely more. Everybody, almost all, told me to go to the Elites. And for me, being a rookie, it just makes the most sense to go to the Elites. There's a few reasons for this. Number one, I am not a big-name fisherman. Hopefully, I will be in a few years, but right now, I am not. So, the FOW Pro Circuit has 150 anglers and a set amount of exposure. So you have to divide that exposure up between 150 anglers. The Bassmaster Elite Series, in my opinion, has more exposure and less anglers. So it's more likely I will get more exposure. That means it's better for potential sponsors. Mm -hmm. Every single sponsor I've talked to has pushed me in the direction of the elites. Mm -hmm. Hunters talked to some other people. What did they all say? Elite. Elites, elites, elites. So... I was never really second guessing that. So it was always going to be the elites. They fish for five big ones. I'm not opposed to the other format, but I do like catching big bass. I do like it whenever you got like a six or seven pounder on bed and you know it could make your entire tournament. You pitch in there and get the bite. It just, there's no feeling quite like that. So. Some people say on your Cumberland practice that you should be an MLF. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, call, I call like call nine fish. So <laughs> yeah, but there's going to be good and bad about both formats but the best fisherman still has a catch fish so i just like catching bass and for me and building a brand i feel like the elites are a no-brainer now the entry fees for both tournament trails are almost identical yeah they're about the same but you get two extra tournaments in the elites and every single place gets place gets paid mm -hmm. so that means effectively the amount that I can lose on the elites is a lot less than the amount I can lose on the FOW Tour. Now, that's all I'm going to say about the money, because this is not about money. If it was about money, I would probably be uh, working as a nurse somewhere or something like that. So, that's how it goes. Hunter, what tournament is going to be the best for next year? Mm, St. John's. St. John's River should be fun. So I'm ready to go there. I'm excited just to go to Florida in general. Yeah, it's like been like 30 degrees all over the southeast for the past little while, and Florida's going to be super nice. So... Next year, we are going to the St. John's River, February 6th. Right after that, February 14th, a tournament starts on Chickamauga. Now, we've got a little bit of a break after that. Bassmaster Classic in the middle. Then to Lake Eufaula. Spent a ton of time on Lake Eufaula. Probably spent more time on Chickamauga, though, as far as just days on the water. But Lake Eufaula, have fished a ton. Have some history there. Um, April. You think you fished Lake Chickamauga more than Eufaula? I hadn't fished Chickamauga. That, I mean, Eufaula that much. But every time he goes to you, Paul, no, I, 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 we ain't saying none of this stuff, okay? We're not jinxing nothing, okay? Sorry. You still got to go catch five fish against Bassmaster Elite Series professionals. So, I don't feel like a favorite in any tournament. I feel like the underdog for sure. So, I think he's going to win you follow. You follow, it's a bad Or bad, St. John's. Bad Those month are my for two me. picks. You follow, and April's a bad month for me. Okay, what's going to be your favorite tournament? Sabine. Just a straight That's up Texas. grinder. Yeah. Just a grinder. Also, we are still looking for sponsors. So, if anyone would like to sponsor Kyle, let us know in the comments down below. Hunter just started a uh... a Patreon. I'm just I'm just now getting used to. It. I don't really know how it works, but I just started it. So, anyways, after you fall, we go to Santee Cooper, another big bass lake. That's three huge bass lakes. I mean, you can see thirty pound bags at all four of the first lakes. 
Santee Cooper, I bet we'll see a 30-pound bag. St. John's River, almost certainly. Chickamauga, the potential's there for a 40-pound bag in February. I mean, there every year there's a 40-pound bag waiting on Chickamauga in February. I mean, we could see 30-pound bags at the first four events. Then, from there, we're going to the Sabine River. Tough fishery, shallow water fishery. You've got to be mentally tough for that one. Then we've got Texas Fest, which I have not seen exactly where that's going to be yet. I don't think anybody knows yet. This is Rexy making her grand appearance. No, you make no sense, man. Fish on Chickamauga would eat her. Okay, then we're going from Texas Fest to New York, I believe. Twice. Two, we're going to stay in New York. Two in New York mm -hmm. or three in New York? Two. No, we got St. Lawrence, Champlain, St. Clair. Smallmouth fisheries. St. Clair's up there somewhere. somewhere oh, they're right all here. in New York? I don't know if they're in New York, but they're up there. So, St. Clair, St. Lawrence River, smallmouth fisheries, Champlain, largemouth fisheries. So, we've got to get some smallmouth fish under our belt. We'll probably go up there a week or two early and find some lakes close by and smash on some smallies for a while. We'll just get kind of in the groove of catching those big smallies. Current fishing, I can do. St. Lawrence River is, the way I understand it, a lot to do with current. And I can fish that. Now, I've caught smallmouth and current a lot. I just am not that good at a... I'm just not that confident that I can go out there at 12 o'clock when you got three fish. It's just my natural instinct is to not go throw a drop shot and try to just grind out two more smallies, you know? So I've got to get over that and figure out how to get the smallmouth to bite consistently. So it's going to be exciting next year. Get to travel around a ton. If y'all are able to make any of those weigh-ins for any of those places, let me know. Um, the big bass ones for me is the ones I would not miss. St. John's, Chickamauga, Eufaula. I mean, Eufaula's going to surprise people. There's going to be some 28, 29, possibly 30-pound bags waiting when you follow. That place is off the chain right now. Nobody really knows it. Then we're going from there, Santee Cooper, April 16th. I mean, another huge bass lake. You don't want to miss them weigh-ins for sure. You didn't even say the best thing about Eufaula. Alligators everywhere. St. John's has alligators. Oh, they do? Eufaula has alligators. <laughs> and uh, Santee Cooper has alligators. Hunter loves alligators. They're my favorite. Favorite animal. So, anyways, just want to give y'all an update. We are fishing the Elite Series. We will be, hopefully, doing pretty well in it. Make it for the Classic. Another big reason I want to go to the Elites is, if you go to the FOW Pro Circuit, you have to qualify to make it to the BPT. If you go to the Elites, only thing you got to worry about qualifying for is the Bassmaster Classic. And I tell you right now, that is something definitely worth qualifying for. That's my goal the first year, just squeak in that Bassmaster Classic cut. What about... Um the FLW, are you automatically in for next year as well? I don't know. Because that is something with the elites. Yeah, with the elites, I get two years. Even if I suck the first year, coming eighty fifth place, I will be. I will get to go in the elites again in twenty twenty one. So, we got two years on the elites to make something shake. So, that's about it for me. Anything else you guys say? Nope. See y'all later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do what she said. Okay, it turned out well for me. Okay, one more thing. A lot of y'all watch my videos on Chickamauga. I've even posted a couple videos about Eufaula. Y'all have been texting me pictures for the past while and all that stuff. I've got a bunch of pictures over the past couple years and stuff like that. But I have to please ask that you do not send me any information. Because I'm fishing the Elite Series, every lake we're going to, it's already off limits for me to receive information from anybody. So if you frequently fish Santee Cooper, you know, Lake Eufaula, Chickamauga, St. John's River, any of the other lakes, St. Clair, St. Lawrence River, Champlain, Sabine, or wherever Texas Fest ends up being, please refrain from sending me any information. I do appreciate the effort, but I cannot receive it, and I don't want to receive it. I appreciate y'all watching, and I appreciate y'all thinking of me, but please do not send me any information on any of those lakes. You can talk about any other lakes. That yeah, are on the, I can talk about fishing schedule. or other lakes, you know, if your home lake is you know, somewhere else. We could talk about that, but we can't We're talk about... In yeah, we, we cannot talk about any lakes that I'm going to. So, appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all understand that, and I appreciate it. See y'all later.